Today we get to talk about one of my least favorite topics, printing. As a network admin, IT admin, you have probably had your fair share of uh, experiences managing printers. It's always a challenge. And that is even greater because cloud print is going away. You probably have been warned and notified about this over the last year. As of January 1st, 2021, you will no longer be able to use cloud print to deploy and manage printers to your Chromebook fleet. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the replacement solution. So when Google announced the end of cloud print, they promised that they would beef up the native printer management inside of the G Suite Google Admin Console. They have made good on that promise. They've added a lot of new features and functionalities. I'm going to review that for you here today. Now, this video is for IT admins um, who have access to the Google Admin Console. If you're a teacher, a parent, a student wondering how to connect your Chromebook to your home printer, check out the video that I'll link in the description that will walk you through that process. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by logging into the Google Admin Console. Let's go ahead and visit the printer area of the admin console. This is the new section. So I'm going to click on devices and then I'm going to select Chrome from the top menu. It'll bring down a bunch of options and this is a new feature. You now have printers. So what Google has done is they are now allowing you to enroll printers into your G Suite uh, console in a similar way that you would enroll um, Chromebooks and you can manage them right here from the admin console. Now I see, you can see I have a couple printers uh, in there already. I'm gonna show you how to set that up um, and walk you through this, uh, this process. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can set up individual printers or if you have an existing print server, you can connect that print server as well. So you'll notice there's a tab up here at the top um, and you can add your print server um, over here if you wish. A print server is really just a computer that's always on, always connected, uh, and so your users would print through that device. So it's, it's totally up to you. You, may, you probably already have a solution, uh, so you can either connect them directly or connect through a print server, whichever is more convenient for you. To manage and configure your printer, you are going to need the network information for your device. So you should be able to print out a page like this with the IP address and all the different things um, related to that printer. So you need to go to each of your printers, print out this configuration page and have that ready to go. Um, I'm going to go down to the plus button, the bottom here, and you can see there's two options. You can add an individual printer. You can also bulk upload these printers. So if you have a lot of printers, you can actually uh, download a CSV template. Now I would recommend um, click the upload and then download the blank template. That will show you the different fields that you need to fill out. Uh, and then you can upload all of those at one time instead of having to add them manually. Now I'll walk you through the process. Let's go ahead and add our first printer. Uh, so you just call this, you know, maybe office. Uh, description might be the building, the, um, the hallway, the room that it's located in. That will be visible to your users, just telling them where this printer is located. You can say, you know, it's color, duplex, staple, whatever it is. Um, there's two options. You can use driverless configuration, which is very quick. However, if you click driverless configuration, it will not give you access to any special features that your printer offers. So if you do have a multifunction uh, printer, um, print, copy, fax, scan, fold, staple, none of those options are going to be available with the driverless configuration. Uh, you'll want to go down here to manufacture and select the correct you know, model number uh, that you have um, to make sure that your users have the correct options. Now there's several different ways to um, connect your printer and that's why we have this configuration page. Um, Google would prefer that you use the IPP address, that's Internet Printing Protocol, and that's specifically designed for printers. I've also had success just using the direct IP address uh, as well. So depending on what information you have and what um, directions your 
um, printer manufacturer gives you, you'll want to select the appropriate option uh, from the list here. So I'm just going to do HTTP um, and add one of my printers. I'm going to leave the port and path empty and click add printer. Okay. Now it looks like, okay, great. We're done. It worked. It's great. That's awesome. Not quite. Now this part here caused me all kinds of aggravation and confusion because I added my printer in. I confirmed the details. I knew it was correct, but I still couldn't print. There's a second step that you have to do. You have added your printer, but you have not provisioned your printer. Once you add it in, you then need to click on that printer and a little side panel will open up along the left and you actually need to go through here and toggle these switches to actually make the printer visible to your user. So do you want to allow for users? Yes. Allow for devices? Yes. Allow for managed guest sessions? No, I don't want guest users printing um, on my network. So you can do, you need to do that once you've added your printers. Now this is OU um, compatible, so you have the ability to add all your printers in, maybe only give your teachers access to some printers, students access to other printers. You can even manage this by device, if you know that this collection of devices, this cart, is in located in this hallway, then you can provision a particular printer that's nearby, physically nearby, to those devices. So you have a lot of control and capability within this printer section about who can print and what devices um, can print. So don't forget to do that once you've added your printers in. And then finally, you're going to click that Save button up at the top. One last thing I want to show you, we have been looking at managing the printer but we can actually also manage the print experience for users. Now, if you are in a school setting like I am, you probably have some concerns about, you know, a fifth grader printing out all of Wikipedia or printing everything in color or wasting paper. There's a lot of concerns about printing. You do have some control over those features inside of the Google Admin Console. So I'm gonna be visiting um, the Chrome browser setting. So I'll kind of walk you through again. I'm gonna go to devices from the admin home screen. Then I'm gonna go up to Chrome. Then I'm gonna click on settings and select users and browser. So this will give you, get me into the Chrome user settings, uh, which govern what people can do when they're signed into the Chrome browser. And this, there's a lot in here, so I just always use a control F for find, and then I'm gonna search for print. And there's an entire section about the printer experience. So this isn't managing the printers, this is managing what users can do if they have access to a printer. Um, so for example, you can just disable it. So you can say this student, because they have abused the printing privileges, can no longer print. And this is all based on OU, so you'd have to put them in an OU and disable printing. One um, little note, kind of a side note here for you. Um, a lot of schools, because of COVID, are sending Chromebooks home and students are learning from home. Many students and teachers may wish to connect a personal printer to their school provided Chromebook. You would need to enable printing for that to happen. So even if you have no interest in allowing students to print at home, that's fine, but you do need to enable printing so that a teacher or student could connect their home printer. Okay, so that's up to you, you can think about that. Then there's a whole bunch of different print options in here. These are the, the print default settings. So for example, if you have a color printer, but you don't want to print everything in color, you can change the default mode to black and white. Now a user can still select color, but it's going to always default to black and white. Uh, if you want to save um, paper, you can change the default to two-sided printing as the default. Um, so Google has definitely beefed up the printer capabilities inside of the admin console. You know, a year ago, these options were not uh, present. Um, a third thing that you can look at, and this is um, dependent upon your printer, um, you can enable pin printing. 
So when a user sends a job to the printer, it'll generate a PIN number. That user must go to the printer, type in the PIN for those pages to be physically printed. This prevents someone from just randomly printing stuff with no intention of actually picking them up. That again would be dependent upon your printer supporting uh, that type of feature. So some, some good print management capabilities now available inside of the Google Admin Console. Now, if all of this seems like a lot of work, you're not really sure if, if you wanna deal with all of this or you don't see all of the capabilities that you would like in print management, I'm gonna give you a third option to consider and that is a third party printer service. Um, this one is called Mobility Print. It is 100% free. It is uh, designed and maintained by Papercut, which is a company that specializes in printer management. They developed Mobility Print specifically as a replacement or alternative to Google Cloud Print. This would need to be downloaded and installed on a server. So um, it's, right now it supports Windows and Chromebooks, which would serve as the server. And then users would print through Mobility Print to your printers. Um, Mobility Print offers a few advanced features that you may not find in the Google Admin Console. Mobility Print is free. Now the upsell that you're going to get, um, Paper Cut is the paid enterprise solution that this company offers as well. So eventually you're gonna be like, oh, I wish it did this or that. And that's where they're gonna try to upsell you to Papercut. I've heard wonderful things about Papercut. A lot of schools use it. You may get some value out of it. You may save enough money on printing costs to justify uh, the expense of Papercut uh, as well. But that's another way that you can replace cloud print if you're not interested in setting up your own print server, if you're not interested in manually adding your uh, printers to the admin console, uh, check out Mobility Print. Now, if you're a Google admin and you enjoyed this video, stick around. I'm going to give you a playlist to some of my other Google admin tutorials that hopefully will help you manage your domain users and devices more effectively.